So can you guys see what we're doing? So we've put in some thoracic. So I'm here with Mauricio, one of our fellows um, here at Swedish. And then um, we have Will and Victor. And behind me is Max from, C from um, Spine Art. And um, what we're doing here is a thoracolumbar percutaneous fixation. And we've put in these nitinol wires. And just to save time, because we're running behind, let's go ahead and put the AP image of the fluoro. Can you guys see that okay? And so now Mauricio is actually going to put the last um, uh, uh, trocar in. And then Shut that, and you can see the AP view here is very important. Um, and uh, Victor, maybe move it just a little bit. So each level, you want to be uh, perfectly perpendicular so you can see the, the end plate Shut that there. you're working at. Um, and uh, it looks like he's a little bit off there. So actually, it's probably too much of a tilt. Yeah, Victor, just go a little bit straighter up. And, and I use a lot of AP when I do open surgery. And, um, and obviously, when you're doing the uh, MIS, it's, it's absolutely critical. I think one of the mistakes often that's made is, is you don't get a good AP. Shot there, Victor. So let's make sure. So that's not bad. Um, and then the other thing is, is that... When yep. you're doing this, um, you really have to be careful with these uh, uh, guide wires because when you when you put them in, you can you can you'll see here in a second. We're going to tap and then put our screws in, and then let's go ahead and shoot that. Is it's really easy to advance? Yeah, keep going. And then so what I'll do is Shut. why don't I go ahead? I'll finish putting this side, and again. For a trauma case, or let's say if you're doing a, um, let's lock that table. I forgot to lock it. Um, something that, you know, where you just need some fixation, doing percutaneous screws or learning how to do it in the lab um, and during your fellowship is really, really critical. Uh, so we're going to, um, we're going to show you really quickly how you can, Put a four-level construct together, and then, and then, do we have the tap? So this this system is very nice, in that um, it's got reduction tabs on there, and hopefully you can see that. And uh, this is made by uh, this um, very nice company called Spine Art, and um, these reduction tabs allow you to put them in, and then you're able to put your rod in and put the set screw in and then pop them off later. So we're gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and just, just for time, um, let's go ahead and tap the top screw. And then Victor, why don't you go ahead, let's get one final shot before you leave. And then can you guys see the arrangement of the wires? So I basically put a snap on, an, on night and all, perfect. And then now we're gonna go ahead um, and let's loosen the wires. And then Victor's going to come out. And then this is actually how what it looks like during surgeries. you got a bunch of wires that you have to control. Um, and then Mauricio is going to go ahead and tap this. And while I'll, usually when we do this, I have it. Um, I have a lateral fluoro as well. So while you're tapping, you want to make sure that you're not... Yeah, and sometimes it gets caught on the skin. So let me see a knife. Why don't you do it on my side, Mauricio? Okay. And then you can take that one out. Do we have another tap or? Great. But you can see here, uh, it's really easy to advance these wires. Um, so when you're doing it, you want to get a knife, or are we able to get it through? So I kind of, I like to hold on to it, and, and under both AP and lateral, uh, you can get a shot to make sure that you're not advancing it. And then why don't you make mine a little bit 
incision a little bit bigger there too, Mauricio. And again, just, just for the sake of time, you can see here, it, it really didn't take very long to, to, um, to get the uh, uh, guide wires in. And now we're going to get a quick shot. Um, and then make my uh, entrance a little bit bigger, Mauricio, if you can. Yeah, just go ahead and cut that. And I've actually, so there's several ways to do this. I personally like making the incision in the midline, preserving the fascia, and then closing the incision, the skin, the skin incision back up. I think it heals better. Um, but we went ahead and did, did it this way. So come on in, Victor. And then we'll, let's go ahead and thread a screw and put it in. Um, And then can you guys see that? So I just basically tap that, and then now I'm putting in the, the screw. Come on in, Victor, and we'll get one shot. And then Mauricio, why don't you, were you able to tap your side? No, not that okay, one. Okay, not that one. Okay, come on in. And uh, yeah, go ahead and let's get a shot there. Yep, so go towards, go towards you, Victor. Keep going towards you more. Come south a little bit more. Good, right there. Okay, let's get a shot. Go a little bit more south. Okay, good. Okay, and you can see that um, screw going into the pedicle, but again, just for the sake of time, we're not going to, you know, put in all these screws because we're running late. But essentially what I do is we just line them all in and then uh, at the end we then put the rod on and then at the very end we then put our, um, put our caps on and then reduce the rod. And that's, that's kind of what it looks like there. Um, And then you can see here the tabs kind of stick out, which is kind of nice, because then at the end you can kind of see, for example, here we're doing T12 to L2. So you're going to be able to see your, um, what your final rod looks like. So let's get one more shot there. So can you guys see that OK? Um, but that's basically MIS, thoracic, lumbar fixation, in about five minutes. Um, and Riccio is going to put his side on. And again, the, the tabs here, hopefully you guys can see that, um, is you can, you can put the tabs on. And then the tabs, you can actually rotate these tabs too. So, and you can advance them. Um, and uh, uh, then you can figure out, OK, this is, you know, for example, in this case, I'm just going to guesstimate it probably be a 140 millimeter rod. And then we have this nice um, rod holder, and then you can make an a stab incision at the usually just a little bit below um, the the inferior construct, and then you can just put the rod in just like this, and then you can see here, and you can kind of guesstimate what that's going to look like. So I'm just going to let's get one more shot there. Great, and you can see. This is obviously, um, uh, this rod is, it's, it's pretty straight, right, Mauricio? Yep. So we'll totally have straight. to bend that and then make it a little bit, we'll put a little bit of lordosis in for the lumbar spine, and then we'll put a little bit of lord, uh, kyphosis in for the thoracic spine. And, uh, and that's basically it. Any questions at all from... Mauricio, do you want to try to finish putting your side yep. in? Come on out, Victor. So the key, again, getting good x-rays, um, understanding the, uh, the fact that these guide wires can have a mind of their own, especially if you're going to tap them. And then at the very end, making sure your rod sits nicely into the construct. Otherwise, um, you're going to end up pulling your screws out. 
can't hear him. I think I need to tap that one. But let me yeah. go. Why don't you one. do the top one? Gary, is there volume? We can't hear him. No, I mean, I didn't know. Hmm? Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Well, that's nice. So it just goes on there like that, huh? Cool. Great. Strong work. Yeah, it's good. I think the bone here is just so soft, you know? You can drive that screw and just... Hey, Rod. Yeah. Uh, it's Martin Pham over here. Yeah. You know, one of the uh, complications of MIS that was discussed earlier was uh, advancing the K-wire too far forward. Uh, what do you do on trying to prevent that? Do you remove it at some point? Um, you know, how do you, uh, how do you manage the K wire as you start to put in all these instruments? You know, um, it's, it's, I think you can do both. Uh, I think the companies now, for example, the, the Spine Art has a great, they actually have an instrument where it's like a super aggressive, so you can do both. You don't have to use the, um, the night and all guide wire. You can see that this is a super aggressive all slash drill, um, and, uh, and so um, you can use that, you can use, I think you just have to hold on to the, to the, um, to the night and all guide wire, otherwise it'll, um, uh, it can't advance, so. Hey, Rod, um, uh, uh, I think we're ready to move on to yeah. uh, Dr. Uh, Sada. Sounds good, let's move on. All right. Thanks, so, guys. Thank you very much, Rod.